Yeah, hello, K. Shelma. Yes, please. Yeah, it's Nathan. Hi, Mr. Dogan. Um, I want the regular. I'll pick it up on my way. Thank you, Uncle again. All right, thanks. Watching scandal, she's just lying in bed. Is something wrong? No, I'm okay. How was work? Great. And yours? Mm. You've been crying. Come on, baby, talk to me. What's wrong? I'm home. I was at the hospital today and I watched Tracy have her baby girl. No, baby, it was so beautiful. I want to feel the joy Tracy felt. I could see it in her eyes. It's going to be two years in a month. And babies we will have. And not for two football teams. <laughs> <laughs> I just need you to be strong, okay? Be strong for the two of us. I don't want you falling into depression anytime one of your friends has a baby. I love you, with or without a baby, okay? Mm. Okay, your water's getting cold. And I smell my shawarma all over your words. <laughs> On the dining. You're the best! I want for me and the more you I want for me the more you will want me to. Hey, Johnny. Sir. How was your night? Sir, just to remind you about the auditors meeting at 12. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you know what? I'll just pack up. I'll meet you downstairs. Get the driver ready. Alright. And um, also tell Anne she'll be coming with us. Madam, why are you like this? <laughs> what? Where are your earrings? I don't feel like wearing them. They're making my ears hurt. Okay. I'll wear it later. That's nice your problem. Design. This is the one I want, this one. <sighs> Tammy, what? I'm not really a fan of this design, no. And you weren't even invited for this wedding. Listen, 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 listen. I know you. Is it not you? I give this to you, but you say it's different. It has nothing I don't to care. Do. You will still make it. Am I not the one paying you? Yes, ma'am. Am I signing the check? Yes, ma'am. Hey, then you do as I Ooh. Oh. <laughs> And Lebu interrupts as usual. Please, Biko, tell him you're at work. You won't see him at Shut home. Up. God is good. Hello, husband. <laughs> Fine girl. Uh, okay, what do you want? Um, I know this may sound weird, uh, but um, yeah. I don't want you to see me as a religious freak. Just hear me out. You know the Bible verse that says um, when two people agree on earth? Okay, where are you going with this? Look, um, I plan to agree with you tonight. What? Yes, I said what? I want to have great sex with you tonight. We always have great sex. What makes tonight any different? Because tonight we'll be making a baby. <laughs> okay, young man, get off my phone. Wait, 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 wait. Do you have a date tonight? Um, sounds like major fun. <laughs> All right, see you soon. Bless you, brother. <laughs> You're <an answer. laughs> All right, baby, bye.
about a thing She says we should both be happy We will be together forever Don't you worry about a thing She says we should both be happy We will be together And I'll say this word Every little thing you do Hey girl, how are you? It's real. I'm too excited. I'm crying, Nathan's baby. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I knew this day would certainly come. Finally, I'm about to be a grandma. <laughs> oh my god. Have you told Nathan yet? No, 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 mom. Why not? No, we're not informing him yet. We have our anniversary in two days. We're going out for dinner. I'll bring the news to him then. Oh, I guess that really is <laughs> more special. We'll come and see you after our anniversary celebrate together. Okay, see you then. Bye. Okay, bye. Oh my god. Do you think you'd be this way when we're 80? Happy? No. Because it would be better. for this to happen. I plan to be happy with you. I plan to build a home with you. I plan to love you the best way I can. For 
Forever. Forever is a really long time. But four years. I have given up my entire life for you. I mean, look at us, Nathan. Look at me, Nathan. Need I say more? We have lost everything. Look. No, I need to, I need to breathe. I need my own air. I need to live again. I can't. Do you even know what it feels like sitting on this chair? I've lost everything. I've not been a man in four years. I've lost everything I worked for, everything I built. And tell me who needs to breathe again. Tell me. I am tired of hoping that this is not a bad dream that's going to disappear. It's not going to go away. Okay, how long do I have to be a Nathan? 20 years? 30? 50? And after all these years, this is the trophy I get for my wife. I have loved you, Nathan. I have loved you and this is why I have stayed all these years. You don't stop loving me. Please. Don't stop loving me. Crash, you crash, remember? I was two weeks in. I was carrying our baby. It was meant to be this big surprise. We did not just lose our baby, Nathan. We lost our home. The more I see, the more compelled I am to stay. <laughs> Ayo. Ayo, please don't do this. Liar. Ayo. Ayo, please don't do this. Ayo, Ayo. Blood pressure is abnormal. His mind is not resting. Where is his wife? She left. <sighs> On a personal note, I don't think we're looking at just a medical issue here. He must have been like this since the wife left. It's been over a month now. I can't watch you treat your husband this way, you know, Lyo. You should go see him. Just check Mom. if he's okay. What? Please. I didn't raise you this way, you know. Have you even called him yet? How did you raise me, Mom? Hmm? To be humble and kind. Yes. To be the long-suffering, virtuous wife. To forget how I feel, what I feel. To be a fool so peace can reign. Of course not. You seem to forget that this is for better or for worse. And you willingly signed up for this. Please, who made up that line anyway? I must have skipped that part in the Bible. I will do whatever I want. However I please. I will be happy with or without Nathan or this marriage. You speak like a fool of and we want it again, we want it again. You know, it's funny because you said the very same thing to me when I told you I was in love with a man with no job. 
Now you sit here defending him. But you don't have to punish him for something Mom. that he didn't do. Mom. Thanks for the food. Have a long day tomorrow. Good night. This is so unfair. You haven't said a word to me since I moved in. I miss you. You know you're the only one I've got. Sometimes I wish mom and dad were still alive. It's so hard to see you crash this way. I know this can change. I know it. I dream about it. But you just have to stop dying and live again, please. Just live again. <laughs> Sacrifice my life for no damn man. And you know me, I don't love anybody, anyways. <laughs> but I understand you guys are married. He loves you, you love him. I just, I can't imagine you losing yourself to this. I'm not telling you to stay or go. Mm -mm, that's not my business. Sure. I'm just saying, be happy. Jeez. Married people have so much drama. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, babe. So, how do I say thank you? Come on. You know damn well how to say thank you. You're the best stylist in town. Yeah, so, no. I was watching no, in no. this outfit that I'm thinking. <laughs> no, there's no way I'm making that dress for free. It's way too expensive. Thank you, my bot. Selfish thing. <laughs> You'll be fine, right? I will. Bye, girl. Bye. How can you be so selfish? Mom, how can you be so insensitive? Like, come here, come here. It's almost midnight and you waltz in here like you own the place. Huh? Why are you so upset? If you would leave here, you have to leave by my rules. Mom, why are you so worked up? Three months. Three good months, Lyo, since you left your husband. How can you even function properly knowing how helpless you left him? Huh? How can you even think straight? of all, Mother, I had a very hectic day at work, so I decided to go out with a friend. Secondly, dear concerned Mother, in case you haven't noticed, I am trying to move on. Oh, and lastly, I told you I called his sister, so I know he's in good hands. Oh, better still, have an idea. Since you seem so concerned about your son-in-law, why don't you move in with him? Take care of him. Slave for him. When last did you speak with him, mother? You know he has no mother. Mother, <coughs> never speak to me like that again. Ever. I love Nathan. Really? I am his wife. <laughs> Can anyone stop to think about me? Oh, I'd have to be in a wheelchair first. He is your husband. You can't keep running. And I am not his slave. What would you have me do, Mom? Go back there and live my life like that forever. My life is just beginning. I cannot trade it that way. I move. I choose to move on. I choose to forget the past. Sit down. Sit down. Think for a moment, Lyle. What if it was you seated on that wheelchair and he walks out on you? Tell me what would be the essence of this love that you profess for each other all these years? I can't help but wonder and ponder. Do you love his body or do you love his soul? <laughs> I am your mother, baby. You think I don't want what's best for you? <laughs> I wish I could tell you to forget him and move on with your life. I wish I could tell you to do what makes you happy, but I can't because sometimes we have to teach our hearts and lead our hearts to do the right thing. And you know what? Even if you decide to move on, 
<laughs> Fall in love again, start a new home. You'll find that the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Because life is full of challenges. You can't avoid them. And if you do, you just keep going round in the same circle. I became so angry, so weak, and so irritated. Please tell me, will he ever walk again? Very rarely. I have seen people with thoracic paralysis condition manage to walk again. Anything is possible. doesn't have to know you've got problems. Tell me, what's going on with you? Your mother is right. But permit me to add some things she left out. I have learned that love always comes at a cost that only the brave can pay for. This is beyond you. You cannot love this man by your own strength. You will always grow weary. You see, God is love, and when you truly have him, you have the capacity to love unconditionally, without fear or compromise, the kind of love that has the power to change everything. that to stick around when things are fine is easy. I mean, anyone can do that. But sticking around in the worst of situations validates the truest and strongest expressions of love. The power of love God has given us is so strong it can tear down walls, flatten all mountains. Most of all, I have seen love change everything 
and I'll never forget that. Together 